<laughs> we are about to buy the BMW M3 E46 and you know exactly what's going to happen to it. We are going to make this thing the M3 GTR. I know it's not the actual GTR before people know about it. Yes, it has a different name, but it's as close as we can get in this game. So we're going to do it. Let's get on with buying this thing. It costs absolutely nothing. In fact, it costs about three minutes of racing since the update. Please, ghost, revert it. It was the part tokens that were broken, not the money. I wasn't planning on doing too many build videos as such, but this game has something to offer that the other game didn't, which is bonuses and perking these cars up to make them absolutely insane. I'm talking literally spending hours and hours and hours building these things up to maxim maximize them in every way. And I'm excited for that. Obviously, it doesn't take that long to get to 299 because that's the maximum on this car. And that's unfortunate. Hopefully, they increase that in the future. But I'm building in preparation for the possibility or just having a 299 ultimate grip machine. This is going to be it. So let's go straight away into the modification and the first thing I bloody choose, I had no mod. We need the M3 kit. And my shock just died. There it is. We've got the front arch and the front bumper on, but the rear bumper doesn't actually go on automatically because they don't want to force body kits onto you anymore. So this, I actually thought looked quite cool as well. Uh, but obviously we want to go with the, the main one, which is the, the bad boy itself, the M3 GTR kit. So you need to go on exhaust to actually change the side skirt on this to the proper one. I mean, it makes sense because it just changes the exhaust. It's the actual stock looking one. But we're making this thing look exactly as it should do. I'm not making the wrap because I tried that before and uh, it was it was terrible. The hood actually isn't the proper one, but it's literally the same thing. So I can see why they removed it. There's there's no much, not much point in having both. One cool thing about this game is that we can actually add a splitter onto this now. The original car did didn't have a splitter as such, but I think in some cases it actually looks pretty darn cool, especially with the sidey bits there. And we have the canards as well, which can also go on. I'm going to go with the big ones. We have light customization, which I'm going to do once I have the wrap on there. I love that purple one. It looks insane. Spoiler wise, I got told off last time I built this for picking the wrong spoiler. And the reason I picked the wrong spoiler is because it doesn't have the middly bits. And it, it's, it has a very specific look. Honestly, I'd say this wing is the closest of them because the bits are closer to the middle. And it doesn't have the sections between the wing. So that's honestly the closest we're going to bloody get. And if you disagree with me, you're wrong. And we could put our biggie, biggie diffuser on there too. That one's going on. It's not that big, but it's, it's close enough, right? Uh, it adds a little kind of... Ducktaily style spoiler in there. That actually looks interesting. I, I think it makes it like what, one of the special versions of the BMW, uh, the, the M3, should I say. Let's jump into the community and look at the M3 wraps. Now, this blue is wrong. Get it out of my sight. This blue, is it going to be? This is very close, but I know for a fact my boy Spikey right here has the blues wrong. Corey, look, I was going to pick you, but it's, it's the wrong color. Why is this the most popular? Stop! This is offensive to me and the car. Wheels is a difficult one because in the previous game, these rims were the closest. You can actually resize them. You can't do that no more. So we're stuck with smaller wheels. But honestly, it doesn't look too shabby. Now that I can change the tires, it might give it a different look. I still don't understand why the stretch tires have gone. Where have they gone? They should be here. Like, a lot of the cars in the story have them. But my cars don't. Now, because I have everything unlocked, I want to see what the lights look like when we start changing those a little bit. If we make them blue, that actually looks cool. I know that yellow would actually look really cool on this. I know people would moan if I do it, so I don't know if I want to do it. Part of me is like, yes, boy, that looks sick. But part of me is like, nah, don't mess it up. I'm going to change the play. Blacking out the lights too. I'm liking it. Anyway, we've done the visual mods. Um, Actually, should we put underglow? Mm. I still think tire smoke is a sin, and if you put it on, you're oh, ho, ho, baby. You look so good. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the right sound, but it's better than nothing. This is pretty much a fully built up looking M3, and I like the way it looks. But this is going to be a grip monster. Let's put on the stability. Let's play with the downforce to get a bit more speed. But at the same time, actually, I found that downforce on high, I found to be actually better for cornering and stuff with it. Then the steering sensitivity you need to play with as you drive around, and I think it needs a little bit more. I think we're about cooking. This build is going to take a lot longer 
than any other build I've made. I tell a lie because I've got a couple of builds planned. We need to make this a grip monster. Now, if you go into the help, I've talked about this before. If you go to the help, it tells you exactly what bonus goes with what manufacturer. You need to get all six and you get a massive bonus. So Americana is nitrous and air, outlaw speed and nitric, you get the idea. Chidori is acceleration and brakes. If you want to be a grip king, Chidori is the bay. Now, let's jump into the trade-ins. I've got 250 left because I've been trading in all my parts. And also, I bought some things, if you hadn't seen in the video, the Let's Play. That said, give a Chidori a quick whirl. Very nice. And also, I've been leveling up so bloody fast. I've been keeping the same shipments I had from when I bloody bought them. Like, let me, let me slow down a little bit. Level 5 exhaust acceleration. I mean, honestly, if you think about it, we don't necessarily need to keep Chidori right now. We could literally just... I think the best bet is to get it to the max and then look for Chidori. Spin for everything until you get it max level, which I believe in this case is level 12 for 399. 5 acceleration and speed. Slap it on. On targeted rolls, it pretty much nine times out of ten. I've always seen it get better parts. I've never seen it get worse parts. Anytime I've seen it give you worse parts is when the level is the same, but the perks are worse. That's the only time I've actually seen worse parts from the targeted roll. Targeted roll is the best way to upgrade your car currently. Goes to hopefully looking at changing that soon because Parts from races are bloody ru Look at that. Rubbish. Go away. Trade. Notice the best way to get parts for a car is to get each thing leveled up and then go back around from the lowest to the highest. That's, I found the best way. And I think it just balances out based on overall parts. It gives you a part. Maybe that's why a lot of people are having trouble. So if we gradually go through absolutely everything, overall parts should improve. I've noticed that. But keep that in mind, fellas, when you're building your win. Look at that, a three perk part, but it's level six, so we need to throw it away at some point anyway. Now we have a part for every single part. Uh, we have a lot of waste on the head because we did spin for the head quite a lot. So level five block, so let's spin for the block and get something better for you because that ain't gonna do it. We've cracked the 200s. We're gonna be at 299 in bloody no time. Level six nitrous and speed. It's a little bit better. Now, what is next? We've still got two level six parts. So let's just, oh, three level six, sorry to say. Let's go to ECU. Breaks, level eight. That's a nice little jump there. Jumping up two levels, flying us ahead. So we've got now level seven, level seven. So level six is the gearbox. Level nine, nitrous and acceleration. It's an Echidori. Level nine is back again. So yeah, my, my best tip is Go through them with the lowest level needs to be upgraded first, ECU. And it's apparently, the, the, well, from what I can see, the parts just average out and it's just it's, it's how you want it. I have all these parts to trade in as well, so uh, we'll get to that very soon. So I get my buddy part tokens back. Lower, lower the level, man, let's go. First level 12 part. Thank you, Lord Jeebus. You just saved us for many upgrades. ECU is next. So I'm, I'm, I think this is probably going to be taken as quite a, quite a decent guide video. I'd say. I swear, I'm not even trying to get these Chidori parts, but they're just scooting on in. Don't mind me. Two level 12 Chidori parts, nitrous and brakes. I, you can always get the level three, per, three perk ones, which I'm definitely going to be looking for at some point. But for now, I do not mind. Another one in the row. Acceleration and speed. You're just teasing me now. Oh, finally. I said I was going to stop at like, what, 150, but Ghost, this is gambling. This is disgusting. You... All right, we've got a fully gripped car now. I mean, it's not the best thing in the world. We definitely need to improve these perks. We've got one perk, two perk. We can get three perk parts. So that's going to take a long time. But that's what I like about this game. I'm going to actually be able to do that. And I built that car in 30 minutes, uh, but I'm actually going to be able to keep progressing it with the three perk parts. But... Let's now give this thing a go on probably what is my favorite racetrack. Side bet drift. Excuse me. That's... Th you are really grinding my gears right now. Oh, yes. The beast of Need for Speed Past has returned to beat the fools of the present that think they could be me. Let's go. Sim Simmer. Give me that grippy bimmer. Here we go. Pass them four straight away. Let's go, let's go. This is the corner that you need to focus on the most. Slow down a lot. Take, take the power through. Don't drift! If you touch the dirt, you go you go with a little bit of a skip. There's basically like two corners in this whole race that actually matter and where you need to break before. And, and that's the only point you need to focus on. Everything else is just smooth going. This thing really needs to be 399. No, no, that would be nice. Oh, yes. Mr. Grippy M3, come with me. 
They're not up the corners because the Drifty Boys are catching up. I said the Drifty Boys are catching up. The Drifty Boys are past me. Chidori, kick on in on this acceleration. 399 would be so much better on this. I mean, even if it went to bloody 300, I feel the 300 cars and three tier cars are so much bloody quicker. Move! Come on! Oh, I could have I could have taken him out. It's alright though. M3's winning. M3 gotta win this race, otherwise. Well, I just built this car for bloody nothing, didn't I? Going round the outside, on in on the inside. That was the smoothest one I've ever bloody done on this race, I'm totally honest with you. So the research I've been doing thus far, like I've been trying to figure out which parts are the best for this. And obviously the brakes help so much because you need to brake so hard before the corner and acceleration helps so much. NOS helps a lot as well because you need to NOS out of the corner. I'm doing research and this is the first video to kind of show you my current concept that I have. I mean, it works damn well. I mean, obviously you kind of want the outlaw things usually because it just allows you to go quicker, but you need those brakes for this race car. You need brakes if you want to be able to slow down and grip. And that's what I won't do. So this, as I said, proof of concept, figuring it out. I think once I get the three perk options and, and start building those up, because that's all I'm going to be looking for for this car from now on, three perk options. I want to get perks that are, for example, uh, acceleration, top speed, and also NOS. Once you have those three on everything, I think it would be insane. It'll be amazing. Maybe speed mixed in there as well, speed and acceleration. It's, it's just the, the perfect M3 concept, the perfect concept for a race car. Baron Yell's remaining. Don't worry about it. Sim Simmering in the Bim Bimmering. And there you go. Welcome to Grip, Sim Simmer. I am very happy to finally have this car. I've been wanting to build it for bloody ages, but I thought I need to make it in video form. Otherwise, people will be like, Theo, you made the car and you didn't make a video. Who are you? You're a, you're a monster. Let's pick a speed card. Is it going to be a nice, nice level 12 jump, jump part? <laughs> It's exactly what I want, yeah. And uh, let's trade that in and start building back up those tokens that I just spent. But now we're getting down to more realistic point parts rather than having just microtransaction parts that are bloody bought. And the money, it's always, it's, 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 not, it's not hard, is it? All right, thank you so much for watching this video. You're going to see a lot of this M3 on the channel building up that grippy boy. That's why it's going to be called grippy boy. All, all of my things just put boy at the end of it. Grippy boy, dirty boy, draggy, draggy boy. Not exactly sure that one works so well. Be sure to smash like, subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until next time, guys. Peace.